Unfortunately, adult supervision isn't enough to prevent these injuries. They happen so quickly that a parent simply can't react quickly enough to prevent them. Therefore, it's important to prevent them from happening by using a slip-resistant mat inside and outside the bath and shower. Each year in this country, more than 43,000 children are rushed to hospital emergency departments because of an injury that happened in a bathtub or shower. That's about 120 children a day. Previous studies on bathtub and shower injuries have focused on scald injuries and on submersions and drownings. This study, for the first time, has really emphasized slips and falls, which by far is the most common type of injury that occurs in bathtubs and showers. The region of the body most commonly injured is the face, and that's because young children, who are the ones typically injured in bathtubs and showers, they tend to topple forward. They have a high center of gravity, and they tend to strike their head and their face. And that ends up with injuries such as lacerations. Other things parents can do is to make sure there are handholds inside the bath and shower to help prevent slips and falls, make sure there's no sharp edges that a person could fall against, and to make sure that there are shatterproof enclosures to prevent lacerations.